Hello everybody, uh, today in this video we're going to be looking at what to do uh, with your book before you submit it. Okay, and that can be submitting it to a professional publisher or to Amazon for publication. So yeah, uh, the first one's kind of obvious, but um, yeah, given what I've read on certain um, writers groups and uh, blogs and so on, it's uh, maybe not obvious to everybody. And that is that you need to do multiple drafts of your book before submitting it. Yeah, if you've done one draft, it's nowhere near ready for professional publication or to be published on Amazon. And uh, yeah, generally you need to do at least five. I do a minimum of five, I think, with each of my books. And um, yeah, sometimes many more. So you've got to really make sure that the book is as perfect as you can make it. As in, if you are thinking that the that you know uh, this bit could be better, but the publisher will edit that, then you are wrong. The publisher will more likely reject your book um, than than edit away. Uh, any obvious mistakes. They want books which they can tell the authors have already put a great deal of effort into and have already made as uh, perfect as they can get it. And they want, actually they want something beyond that. They want to see that other eyes have seen the book too and that um, that the writer has really put in a lot of effort and sought outside help with the book before submitting. Now, as far as that goes, what you need there are what call or what we call alpha and beta readers. A beta reader is somebody who reads the book after you have made it as great as you can make it. And then you, um, they will hopefully be somebody who with literary experience or who reads a lot, who uh, is familiar with your genre and uh, can give you critical feedback. So yeah, after they have given you critical feedback and maybe even um, told you uh, some of the flaws uh, in grammar and punctuation and so on. After they have done that, you rewrite it, uh, applying their critiques where you see where you think they are right, and then you submit it to a beta reader, which is the last person to read it um, before um, yeah before you go over it for a last time. So the beta reader has the same function as the alpha reader, but you at least want to outside perspectives and two other writers or two other people with literary experience to read over your novel, give you criticism, uh, point out any errors they find and then after the beta reader you again apply, uh, incorporate the changes that they recommended if you think they are correct in their, in their uh, critiques and yeah, you, you apply all of that and then you get it as po polished as you can. And then ideally you would want to send it to a professional editor. Um, some, yeah, this is a tricky one because a lot of writers out there can't afford professional editors. Uh, but if you can af afford one, you definitely want to use one. And um, you can maybe forego either one or two beta, yeah, either a beta reader or an alpha reader if you get a professional editor. But um, if you don't have a, a professional ed editor, you certainly want an alpha and beta reader to go through your book first. And um, yeah, how do you find these people? So uh, the way I find them is on a Facebook page called Beta Readers and Critique Partners, and I'll include the link to that below. And generally here, it's a bit of a trade. You find somebody who's willing to uh, beat or alpha read your book in exchange for you beat or alpha reading their book. So yeah, it is it is quite a bit of effort and so on. But uh, yeah, if you work hard, it doesn't take you that long, you know? So, so you gotta be willing to scratch somebody else's back and help them out. Um, yeah, what you don't want is for your alpha or beta readers to be just family members who don't have any much literary experience and who will probably just praise your work regardless of, 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 of whether it meets professional standards or not. So yeah, you want, uh, you want an alpha and beta reader and you want a professional editor. As well, if you can't afford a professional editor, you really want to take as much pain as you can to ensure that everything in the book is grammatically correct 
and to the highest standard possible. And to help you do that, you can use apps such as Grammarly and Hemingway. These apps will point out any, um, any punctuation mistakes and grammatic mistakes and so on. But even then, you've got to be careful because it's a non-thinking app. Sometimes, uh, you know, if your character speaks in slang, for example, it will want to correct that. Uh, even though, you know, uh, incorrect speech is what you want from that character. You know, the, if the character's uh, got a very low educational level and speaks um, very uh, with very bad grammar, then, yeah, you want to keep that. Or those kind of things, you know. Uh, the literary apps such as Grammarly and Hemingway are not great at recognizing. So, yeah, so that's what you want to do if... Um, yeah, so it's alpha and beta readers and professional editors as well. Another aspect that you want to ensure you get right before you submit it, and this is actually a good thing to do very early in the process, is to know the word count of your genre. So, yeah, let's say you've uh, written um, a commercial fiction book of 180,000 words. Uh, immediately, as soon as a, a publisher sees that on the... Um, on the cover letter of your submission, they'll know that that's just too much and they'll reject it outright. Because uh, what the more words you have in your book, the more it's gonna cost the publisher to publish your book. And if you're a first time writer, they are more than likely not going to be willing to invest that kind of money into a writer who has no proven track record of making them money. It's in the, at the end of the day, it is a business and that's what it's all about. So yeah, you gotta get the correct word counts for your novel, uh, for your genre. So let's go over that quick. Adult fiction, literary fiction, and commercial fiction is between 80 to 110,000 words. Romance novels is between 80 to 100,000 words. Nonfiction, standard nonfiction is 50,000 to 80,000 words. Self-help, 40,000 to 50,000 words. Uh, children's books, and young adult books, 40,000 to 80,000 words. Middle grade, 20,000 to 50,000 words. Picture books, I believe, can have a much lower word count, especially if it's, you know, one of those 20 page uh, picture books where there's only maybe 200 words and so on. Uh, but, but yeah, generally you want to keep within the word count. If, uh, if you submit a book which has a, a too low or too high a word count for your genre, the publisher will automatically recognize that uh, you have not done your research and will likely reject your book uh, immediately. Um, apologies if this sounds harsh, but the truth is every publisher, every professional publisher gets at least 10 to 20, up to 50 uh, manuscripts submitted to them daily. So yeah, they just don't have time to actually read it. So they'll read your cover letter and uh, which we'll get to in a second, and then they will, uh, yeah, reject it based, reject or accept it based on that, and they will reject a lot more than they accept, because taking on a, another publish, another writer is a big deal and a big investment from them. Okay, so yeah, then you want to. Uh, uh, what you really want to do is get your f the first couple of couple of chapters of your book as polished as possible. You know, using all of the resources that I spoke of before, the alpha beta readers, critique partners, uh, professional editor if you can afford it. And yeah, the reason is because uh, if the publisher reads, publisher or an Amazon reader, reads that you haven't, um, re reads the first chapter of your, your book and sees that it isn't polished, that there are mistakes, uh, then they probably won't bother to read the rest. So yeah, you, the first chapter of your book, first few chapters of your book are what will hook the reader. So make sure that those are to the highest standard possible, done to the highest standard possible. Okay, um, yeah, so you'll also need to, um, yeah, if you're submitting to a professional publisher, it's good to look up how to submit. We can maybe do a video on that one later, but you will need a cover letter which generally has uh, your address, your name, or and pseudonym, your word count, uh, a brief synopsis of, of what your book's about, and, um, and what genre it fits into, 
and uh, some comparative titles. So we'll maybe get into that a bit more in in a future video, but that's generally what you need to before you submit. And as well, you, if you are publishing on Amazon, you also don't want to take any chances in terms of uh, getting your book up to the highest standard possible, especially if you're looking to to uh, to gain financially from it. Uh, because yeah, even even people who buy books on Amazon want quality. They want uh, readability. They want books where they want something better than than what they can write. And if you're writing something which is worse than than, than a book they could do themselves, then they'll probably stop reading. Okay, so yeah, this video probably has uh, you know it's a bit harsh, but those are the harsh realities of the publishing business. So yeah, it's better you face them head on and adapt to them to give yourself the best chance of success. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be posting future videos on um, how to get somewhere in publishing and in writing. Thank you very much. Bye.